Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Being Real. I am Joe. Get used to the face. Get used to the pace because we move quickly, and we're definitely going to move quickly today. We're going a little bit offbeat, but there's a reason why. So stick around to the end, and I'll tell you why this is relevant to real estate investing and making money. You're thinking, how could it possibly be? Wait till the end, you'll find out. But when we get started, do me a favor and reach out and hit that like button. That's the only price of admission we charge here, folks. Hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, do that as well. That would be fantastic. I would appreciate it. And everybody else would appreciate it when we get this stuff out on the YouTube algorithm and share with more people to get them financially independent. As you saw by the title, we are going to be talking about today. Uh, it's like a, I feel like David Letterman. Oh, geez, I'm dating myself again. <laughs> Letterman, I don't even know when Letterman was on television. Uh, might as well say Johnny Carson, make myself even older. Anyhow, we're going to do a top 10 list of cities that are dying. The uh, per capita, not per, no, sorry, not per capita, just ratio wise, population ratio wise. And then at the end, we're going to tell you the why it might be uh, it might might be something you're interested in. Other than that, first part of it's just going to be trivia. <laughs> it's going to be trivia, something you can pick up. And there's always something beneficial at the end for everybody. All right, number ten on the list. And oh, I should qualify this by the way. This is the according to the census from 2010 to 2020. This is a 10 year census, and. We have number 10, da -da 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 -da, Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama came in at a 4.2% decrease in population. Why? Well, I'm not going to say anything bad about Mobile because I'll give you getting emails and comments below, but the crime is, you're going to find this crime is consistent throughout this list, but crime in Mobile is, is really, really bad. And there's just, there's just no jobs. There's, the job market there is just, pathetic and it's you know until that turns around good luck number nine rockford illinois all you guys out there in chicago are saying what happened to chicago well chicago didn't quite make the list but your cousins over in rockford did rockford saw a 4.5 percent decline in that population 4.5 percent uh that's four and a half people out of a hundred folks said that's it we're out of here we can't take it anymore we're moving somewhere else again crime and jobs being the number one and two reasons why. Number three, St. Louis, Missouri. Do I need to tell you why? Uh, if I do, just go sometime and figure it out. St. Louis has been hammered over the past decade, uh, over the past several decades, to be honest. And if that's not bad enough, right across the river there, you've got East St. Louis, which makes St. Louis look palatable. So yeah, St. Louis is not going to be coming back in the near future. There's just nothing there. The employment numbers and the uh, crime are just, and it's not something that's going to turn around overnight. Number four, where are we? Number four is Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, and Toledo, Ohio is, you know, kind of a special place in my heart. Old Radar O'Reilly from MASH. Yeah, I continue, continue to date myself. I don't care. Well, outside of the mud hens, there's not much going on in Toledo. <laughs> as evidenced by the 5.7% decline in population over the decade of 2010 to 2020, 5.7%. What's going on in Toledo? I mean, the mudheads can't be that bad. Come on now. And regretfully, number the next one on the list, number five, is my hometown where I was born, Cleveland, Ohio. What's going on in Cleveland? Uh, other, you know, famously called the mistake by the lake. Yeah. Uh, take over a guy from Cleveland. This is not good news. It continues to get worse in Cleveland. Uh, again, crime and jobs. There's just the infrastructure is falling apart. The, the infrastructure of the city, literally, that's the, the depreciation on some of the, the things that need to be worked on there is just decades old now. And it's like a lot of stuff in the United States. People are starting to wonder how are they ever going to do that? Yeah, Cleveland coming in at 6.1%. And next up, and I shouldn't say it makes my heart warm, but because it's from Michigan, as you know, us Ohio guys, we're not looking for anything good to happen in Michigan. Our friends up in Detroit. Detroit, Michigan coming in at a whopping 6.6 .6 decline in population over the same time period. So more people left Detroit than left Cleveland. So <laughs> go Ohio. 
<laughs> and seventh on the list, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, a Baltimore is a lot like St. Louis. If I better tell you why, go visit. And Baltimore is just not coming around anytime soon. It hasn't been coming around for decades. Some of these, you know, the Clevelands, the Toledos and some of them, even Detroit, uh, you know, will bounce up and down on the census decade to decade. They'll see them moving around a little bit. But there are some places like Baltimore and St. Louis and Baltimore being number seven on the list is not a surprise and not going to change very soon either. Coming in at a whopping 6.7 percent as well. Shreveport, Louisiana. Shreveport. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you've been to Mobile, you've been to Shreveport. Same place, different state. There's just nothing. They're funny, it's beautiful there. I don't know if I mean, well, of course, somebody that's seen this has been from there. You are from there. But if you haven't been there, it's actually a beautiful location geographically. And uh, it's just a really shame that it's, they can't pull things together there. It's 6.9% of the people. Almost 7 out of, out of 100 people have left. And I don't see them coming back anytime soon. Next up, no surprise here, Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi also makes the list every single year. And this time coming in at a whopping 11.4%. Folks, you have lost over 10% of your population. 11.4% have decided to go elsewhere. You got to do something different. There are federal grants. There are ways to turn this around. People have got to be interested in doing it. That's the key. There's just, when you get to these numbers, folks, you just, you, you've got to do something completely different. Last on the list is um, Flint, Michigan. That's right. Decade over decade. This is another constant loser. I'm not saying the people from there are losers. I'm saying they're the losing population. And Flint, Michigan is running them down 20.7%. 20.7%. That's two out of 10 people. Two out of 10. Yikes. That's not two out of 100. That's two out of 10. 20% of the population has disappeared in the latest since, yeah, decade long census. So, Fun facts for you to think about, and I told you as a bonus on the back end, we will give you some idea. Guys, there are deals there. Girls, there are deals there. Believe it or not, there are deals there. There are real estate deals there. There are real estate deals there. There are real estate deals there. And if you're anywhere near there, I encourage you to go and find out. Use our methods that we teach you. Use all of the 0% down, 100% financing Go get some of these places, not in the worst areas of these towns, but in the middle area. It's a good thing is that in these places, 95% of everything's for sale. Actually, everything's for sale, but 95% of them are going to be grateful to give you a great deal. Go in with 100%. You've got no risk. You're not, you leverage it all, no risk, and you can learn everything you need to know about being in the real estate investment world. Like you're not going to make a lot of money off the property. We're not talking about resale value here, but we're talking about having you become a landlord. You want to become a landlord? A decent place. You got to get a decent place. Can't get one of this. Got to have a bunch of repairs. Don't spend money on repairs. They don't don't want to be investing money into any of these places. A little bit here and there, but nothing major. You just want to be able to acquire, acquire something that's livable and putting tenants in and getting in cause, positive cash flow. That's what it's all about. And man, there are so many of them in these places. And you can't go to the war zones, people. You can't do that. There are good spots in all of these towns that I just mentioned. They have to be over 100,000 in population or they wouldn't be on the list. There's good places in these towns. Go there and those people are leaving too. Go get the deals that are there. All right. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and catch us on the next edition. Hope this was a fun-filled trivia fact for you. And if you're near any of those places, go over there and grab something. Go over and go through our step list. Go through our checklist. Go through the steps. Get something for free today. Become a landlord, learn about it, get positive cash flow, get the experience under your belt, and move on to better things. All right. Have a great day.